I'm, I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to be off for a couple of days. But not like off making content. We've got content lined up for you, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sad and, you know, salty at the same time. So there you go. Holla ballers! What's going on? It's Preacher. And yes, once again, three years ago, uh, or just over three years ago, I made a video which is like, my guild died literally overnight. This one was even faster. It died within one minute of killing Side and Athreus. The guild was disbanded. Well, not officially. I'll have some details for you. Uh, and I wanted to talk about this. It's going to be a bit of a talking head video. Don't worry about the footage. Uh, but considering the response from the community as to why this happened, it's worth making a video on it. Although many of you might not care. So the TLDR is that we had quite a number of players who just weren't enjoying the Shadowlands and they just were done and they wanted a break and an indefinite break. Not sure if they were coming back, which meant that it was unfair to continue the guild under those circumstances because they may take a break for X amount of time, come back and decide they don't want to play anymore. That's not fair to anybody. So the general gist was to kill Side and Atreus on Mythic, give everybody that achievement and then make it as easy as possible for them to move on. Now, <clears throat> some more detail for those of you who are interested then. Um, I have a, a bit of an issue I'm trying to work through at the moment, which is that I talk about things so much on stream because I talk, I, you know, I'm on for like five to eight hours a day, five days a week. And I probably mention uh, a thousand times during one of those streams, something ridiculous like that, something that I don't mention a YouTube video because over the course of the week, I've probably talked about it four or 5,000 times. And in my brain, it's a dead subject. So we talked about it to death, but the YouTube audience is very different from our live stream audience. And one of those things that I talked about and made no secret of is that I didn't enjoy raiding this tier. I really didn't enjoy it. Um, and I, it was hard to put my finger on what it was, but it, it was a different atmosphere. And that was everything to our guild. I joined this guild during the end of Legion. And the, the premise of the guild, like the original premise, was the old man's home. We had a number of players around the world who had raided at the very, very high end and just didn't want to give that commitment anymore. The same commitment that you see from your Echoes and your Limits uh, which are, you know, the hours and hours of preparation, the, the making 11 characters to come into the raid tier, the, the full week of farming islands, all that nonsense. We didn't want to do it. The players have got the ability, but we don't want to do that kind of stuff because we're older, we've got families, uh, we've got work, you know, all those kind of elements. And ultimately, if you're not getting world first, there isn't much point to it. You just, no one cares who's world fourth or whatever, like in general, you know, some the people inside the, the system and the people who watch it closely, they know, but it's a very small amount of people uh, outside of that. So putting all that effort in and not getting a first or even a close second just doesn't seem to have a cost benefit to it. So the premise was, look, <clears throat> we're only going to raid three days. That's it. Three days. And outside of that, it doesn't matter. And we were super strict on that. Like, the idea of doing a pull after raid time ended was just not a thing. Uh, and we kept to that. Even That's why we kind of found it very funny when the overtime police Twitter was monitoring guilds who were doing that extra hour, throwing in that extra day, things like that, uh, compared to what they were advertising on WoW Progress. Because that is a real problem on WoW Progress as you go higher and higher, is a lot of guild advertising not what isn't true and we had a lot of members come from guilds who were like yeah they advertise this four days but then they threw in like two extra days and they raid two hours extra on those four days and i can't commit to that i can commit to the rules they post but i can't commit to the extra stuff that they're not talking about and the extra alt raiding that is actually required and we hear that a lot in drama it's like oh there's an alt raid but you really need to be there so you're really raiding a lot more than you want to so that sounded idyllic to me uh, at the time. I was uh, open, hoping at the time to join an extremely good guild called Security. But when Loz called me, who's a friend of mine, to say, hey, we're doing this new project, you want to try that? That's where I decided to go. And it worked really well for us. It was a guild full of really good players. Like, And this tier alone, and this is going to come relevant in a second, this tier alone, the people who didn't get to raid this tier because of class problems and things, included former multi-world first raiders people who came from pieces our roster was really really good for the most part there's always going to be weaker and stronger players but our roster was extremely good and very difficult for alex who's our raid leader to choose who's going to be in the raid uh because you're leaving out someone you obviously want in the raid but there's a 20-man limit and that's the nature of the beast but the way we raided attracted a lot of very good players that was how it was it attracted a lot of very good players because we really stuck to our rules and it was under this premise that we didn't have a trial process in our guild. And uh, I talked about that a number of times, which many of you found confusing. There was no trial process. 
And to join really was word of mouth. There were a couple of people who made apps who eventually got in after some, you know, conversations that were had. But basically what would happen is uh, Loz, who was our recruitment officer, would go around the guild to the people who had sponsored this person to talk about them and figure out what was going on. Even IRL. <clears throat> now, I did say uh, that my guild broke up on Sunday. Sunday night. I found out about it Monday morning, so I wasn't there. Uh, the guild killed Denathrius on, like, the very last pull of the night. I had gone to bed about 20 minutes before that, because it looked like they weren't going to get the kill that night, and I was tired. I was watching via a Discord stream, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go to bed. It looks like they're not going to grab it. Um, and then they killed it just after that, and then almost immediately, they was like, okay, just letting you guys know, we're not raiding anymore. We're taking, uh, the officer team's taking an extended break. We have no idea if we're going to be back. So if you want to leave and join another guild, feel free. And that was that, as it was explained to me, because Finn was there. Finn was in the raid. I was not part of the side of Nathrius roster. Uh, a conversation had taken place after Stone Legion Generals, which was what is going to be the best comp to get Denathrius done earlier. And this was part of what made me angry, and I'm happy that in the last two days, when I've been trying to record this video, I've spoken at length with both uh, Loz and Alex, because I consider them very close friends, uh, about this, because there was no indication to me that they knew the guild was dying. And we're going to get to that in a second, because it's, um, it's a point when I put it out to the stream today that everyone had a very different opinion on, and honestly, my opinion has shifted. So I'm less angry about it now. My main anger is on how the guild ended. <laughs> it ended unceremoniously and extremely quickly. And I woke up to just the guild being dead. And I was like, well, shit. Goddamn. After three long years. And I want to express to you, like, at least 60% of the guild, if not more, has been in my house. Has been in front of this camera. Has played with my children. They've been here IRL. During PreachCon, I always invite the guild. Uh, and I pay for their tickets because it's it's so good for bonding a team together is to meet each other. We, we spend so much time together, but to bond them together is so important. And uh, <clears throat> to say we were close in many regards and had memories together would be an understatement because they've met several times, you know? It's not a small thing. So it's been a lot. And for people who are blindsided by it, it's been really hard. Like, <sighs> harder than you'd imagine is like, what? So we're not... I'm not with you bunch of guys next week because, you know, this is my fun time. And that's how I see raiding. Is my, that's why I don't stream it or anything like that, is I see it as my night out with the guys where people like to go watch football or whatever. I like to raid. Uh, so when it came to, like, hey, on side of Nathrius, we the rules have changed since the first kill. We ordinarily want to take a big bunch of hunters, but we don't really want to do that now because gear's changed. We don't struggle with the phases where hunters were carrying and we want to just build first comps and do you mind sitting out? And I was like, no, that's fine. I'll get the kill next week. I know Stone Legion Generals was the hardest boss, so I feel very accomplished with Castle Nathria. I'm not that bothered about Denathrius. I didn't know, though, that <laughs> we, we, that was going to be the last boss kill of the guild <laughs> at first for the foreseeable future, uh, which probably would have been a different attitude at the time, but I didn't know that. So I woke up to it. Now, as I said, I was very angry. I was really angry because I consider these guys close friends. They're not all like you know, bestie buddies or anything like that, but they're people I trust enough to be in my home. Um, and that's over now. And there's nothing sadder than when players start to disperse because the caliber of our players can get, basically go wherever they want for the most part. Like, they'll get a spot to at least trial. Uh, it should be fine. They're very, very good players. So, I was struggling to come to terms with it and I spoke to the guys now and it basically came down to this decision. Uh, and So, why did the guild die in the first place? There, as, as much as we have so many OG WoW players who've played for like 10 years plus in the guild, absolutely nobody wants to raid lead. <laughs> absolutely nobody wants to do the shit that's required to run a guild. I'm in that boat. I don't have time and that's why this guild existed for me as the, the idyllic place. I have my family and in between that I'm working. I can't sit and sort out raid comps and, uh, you know, do, do the proper research on a tier, go sifting through logs for a few hours. I can't do that. I can't even reply to most of the closest people who support this channel on a regular basis. I just do not have the time. So it's just not possible. And there's many other players in the same boat. You know, that's the kind of thing with an old person's home is you have all these people who have other commitments outside of the game. And so with the officers wanting to take a break for a variety of reasons, and I'm intentionally not going to talk about those reasons because when we did talk about them today, in the stream, people latched onto the one thing they agree with and kind of made it all about that. And that's not the case. It's an entire witch's cauldron of different little things that they're not happy with and not feeling in the Shadowlands. And it ranges from everything from Torghast to 
um, the boss is being broken and frustrating, which has been really hard to push people through. You can imagine a raid leader trying to push people through a broken buggy boss, and there were several of them. Stolage of Gerald's was the worst, but there were other examples where we were just forcing through it, and it felt like just being there to be there. And like I said at the top of this, it wasn't enjoyable. It wasn't fun. I wasn't looking forward to raiding. Because it just wasn't that fun to do. You would go from really easy bosses to really irritating bosses. And there was just, there was just nothing to sink your teeth into, really. Uh, especially when it came to, like, performance checks. Because so many of the bosses are stop-start. Or you have very specific jobs. You can't push yourself, really. Because half the time, if you push yourself really hard and maximize yourself, you have to stop earlier. Which I cannot fucking get. I, I can't stand it. And I don't know why Blizzard basically built in intermission phases for so many of the bosses. Where it's like, if you push, like, do maximum damage that your character can do. Besides a couple of the bosses which are really boring. Like Hungering Destroyer, who cares? Uh, but then you go to, like, Council. Or you go to Artificer. Uh, or you go to Stone Legion. And you're like, yeah, we you did really well. We have to stop. Someone had a really good pull. We have to stop earlier, right? That happened so many times that people are just frustrated. It's like, fucking hell, man. Who, who could be playing here? My basic job here is to not die. Like, that's it. Um, so I totally get where the guys were coming from. There's a whole multitude of reasons uh, from Torghast to that that people just weren't happy this to. And the guys just wanted to take a break. And that's it. And you can't force people to play. You can't do that. So the decision was made probably earlier on that they were going to stop. And that would likely be the disbanding of the guild. But when do you tell people that? And this is where we kind of had the disagreement. Um, and I've changed my opinion on this because I think they made the right decision, actually. And I'm sure some of you will disagree with this. But they decided it would be best to not say anything until after the tier finished to make sure that everybody got the Denathrius kill to enable them to move on easier. Because every extra kill you have makes your prospects better, right? Because it moves you ahead of other people. <clears throat> it's true. My opinion on it was... We're close friends, you can tell me, and it's fine. I'm not going to leave the guild immediately, right? I'm here till the end of the tier. Like, <laughs> I don't care. If we're raiding to the end of the tier, I'm here. It's not a problem. I understand why you guys want to leave. I totally get it. No one's going to force you to play, so let's finish out this tier strong, have a good last memory with the guild. That was my take on it, and I'm sure many of you agree with that take. The other take was, if we say it now... There's a real possibility, and this isn't made up, so I want to put this in context. We already had players who had said they were leaving, and now this is a very normal thing. And I love these guys. So we had players who were going to pieces. Seven days a week. Great! I'm so happy for those guys. I mean, especially the younger guys, which we attracted over the years. They're during a pandemic. They're students. What better opportunity do you have to try and push yourself to the absolute maximum? Full support. And those guys weren't leaving early. They were here till the end of the tier, and then they'll move to next tier. Pieces is already finished, so they were going there. Some other guys were leaving to go to other guilds. Some other guys throughout the mid-tier decided to quit there and then for the reasons that the guild ultimately stopped. So we lost quite a lot of players over the tier because they just weren't feeling it. <clears throat> that happens. Remember, and again, this is all contextually normal, when a new expansion comes out, you're going to have a section of the roster that doesn't like it for whatever reason. Hard to predict who, and that's why we always say over-recruit before an expansion starts. Because there are going to be a percentage of players, even the most dedicated ones from the last expansion, who just do not like this one. And that was happening, especially with the raid being not great. The Castle Nathrie is okay, but it's not great, and the progress on it isn't amazing. So we had several players who were like, yeah, I'm done, I'm done. So it became a meme, honestly. Uh, about around about Artificer, I think, which was don't quit. <laughs> no matter what happened in the raid, uh, I missed the feast. Oh God, we'll get you another one. Don't quit. Right? It became a meme because so many people were like not feeling it and stuff like that. So there was a general atmosphere in the raid uh, of something going wrong, <clears throat> and it sucked. It really did suck because I knew I wasn't enjoying myself. It affected my performance a lot. I made more mistakes this tier than ever, but I just wasn't having fun, and so I was distracted. The, uh, the, the Our comms is usually like an absolute hotbed of fun, and it wasn't. People were frustrated, and people were, you know, just not happy because they weren't enjoying themselves. And that f led into a feedback loop, which happened to me as well. It's like, okay, I'm kind of just looking over here. Um, and it sucked. So, from that perspective, that's why the guild stopped. Officially, it's not dead. And it, they may come back. I've spoken to the lads uh, of the last two days. And yeah, they might come back. Uh, but we don't know that. And if they don't, it's fine. Now, the next question many of you have is, what next? Who, Which guild are you joining, Mike? And all that kind of stuff. As of right now, absolutely no one. 
uh, for kind of the reasons I've explained in this video. Joining another guild right now means I'm joining a guild that's farming Castle Nathria. That's not that appealing to me right now. <laughs> I don't really like Castle Nathria, so the prospect of joining another guild, having to like be full mental prepared to go through like, even if there's not an official trial process, there's still the unofficial like, is this guy shit? So having to full focus onto farming Castle Nathria, and I don't need any gear from there, there's like two items I'm missing from there, is I'm doing that for the next foreseeable future until the next tier. That's not that appealing to me at all. I would rather have my uh, raid nights free. That's why I, re I mean, look at, uh, I want to put it into context of where I were, we were. We'd finished the tier. Sidonathrius is dead. We were less, we were three days away from being a one raid night a week guild, which is great for me. That's so good. I can, fo I get two extra days to focus on work and have fun and play other games or whatever, do extra streams. I have a blast doing that while still getting the raid kick all the way up until the next tier. Like we were about to hit complete slowdown because that's what my guild does. They might do an alt raid. Fine, it's still only two of the three raid nights, but you get what I'm saying. We were, we were done, progress was over. So to jump back in straight away to be like unofficial progress in terms of my own player, <laughs> not really not for castle nathria uh so for now i'm not doing anything and that won't affect youtube like at all we don't do that much raiding specific stuff in fact the last raiding specific stuff we did with artificer uh didn't get a great response because it's mythic raiding it's niche as it is and my it, there's my time is much better served trying to get you guys up to the mythic raid tier so you can find this stuff out for yourselves that's a far better choice and that's why we do things like a fresh level 60 all the way up to you can do whatever you want now which is a series we did this week. And our next couple of series are going to be something similar about getting you up to that level. That's our focus. That's always been my focus on the channel. Um, I already have the footage of every boss except Mythic Denathria. So Mythic Denathria is easier than a couple of bosses that are in the raid, ironically. Uh, so it's not a big deal either. So in terms of content-wise, everything's fine. Nothing's a problem. Um, I have no fire, to be completely honest. I have no fire to go raiding Castle Nathria right now. I have no motivation to do that, so I'm not going to do that because that would just annoy me and burn me out or whatever. Uh, next, as the new tier approaches, that will probably change. And when the new tier is approaching, I will likely start seeing what I want to do, how I feel at the time, uh, and maybe start looking for a guild and see if i can get in there because then at least progress is starting which is the only thing i really enjoy i love world of warcraft but my main enjoyment comes from progress rating i love that that's the best part so my character is essentially done for next tier besides whatever gear revamps they do when the new patch launches i have mostly the best stuff i can get minus a couple of little tiny bits so not a big deal absolutely not a big deal uh, I will continue to play it as I do and mostly focus exactly what we're doing. We're in the middle of, our, well, we've just started RPG February right now on stream. So that's not WoW stuff. And we don't stream WoW stuff over there. We have a very healthy audience who enjoys other games. Uh, I mean, we're playing a 1990s Chrono Trigger right now and having the best time. I couldn't be happier besides this. Uh, my anger about it, which many people know who do watch me on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, my anger about the guild falling apart is still there, but it's mainly about how it was done um but not the fact that it happened i feel much better about that now like i understand i'm not never going to force people to play world of warcraft and people shouldn't feel forced to play and if people are only playing because they feel they have to that's not a good place to be so that's okay that's totally fine and there's no issue there i wish it would have been done better because after three years it's very unceremonious and i my main sadness about the whole thing is just about the dudes separating their ways because i can't tell you how excited I was in the back of my head to be hosting another PreachCon, hopefully this year, and seeing all those dudes again. Now, they'll still be invited, but when guilds split, guilds split. And it's kind of sad. So there you go, guys. That's everything I'm willing to tell you about it. I hope you're good. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to be off for a couple of days. But not like off making content. We've got content lined up for you, but... Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sad and, you know, salty at the same time. So there you go. Thank you very much. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.